question 20. And uh, it says find V0 and the power absorbed by each element in the circuit. Okay, so this is testing our knowledge and whether we know that some of the power within a circuit will always be zero. Uh, and because the amount of power emitted should be equal to the amount of power that's absorbed. So with that knowledge in mind, um, we'll just have to uh, find out all the powers and add them together. And then we find out V0. Right, so this is pretty straightforward times 6a. Now, the system that the book developed, positive and negative, and if it would say this is the current, if the current flows through, like from the negative uh, side to the positive side, that means it's emitting power, right? That means it's emitting power. What actually happens is electrons flows from the negative to the positive and that's usually like battery does that and that's like emitting power but we're gonna follow what the textbook says and it, it makes has its own sense so we say okay so 6a goes goes into the negative to the positive and this is emitting power right it's a power source it's giving out power and we have to say well, okay so in this case we're going to say it's a negative 30v um, because it hits the negative first and then we so the next one, as you can tell from here, uh, this is plus minus 12V, and there's a six uh, ampere of voltage going through from here. I mean, sorry, uh, six amperes of uh, current. So now it's hitting the positive size first, and it's from the positive to the negative, which means this resistor is taking absorbing power, which is like a light bulb or something, or just a simple resistor, right? So in this case, we we'll just say, okay, it's 12V times 6A. And now we just have to do for the rest. So let's keep going to the right. And then it would just say, okay, 28V uh, times 1A uh, plus the V naught, uh, I naught, which is 2A. So 28V times 2A. And then plus the uh, 5I naught 3A. Now this is another little trick like another little question within the question that's like testing your knowledge on the voltage supported power uh, the voltage supported current source or current supported current source and whatnot so this is a so every time you see this this is the voltage source okay this is a voltage source and and if we see like like a plus and negative and that's like always voltage as well and if you see a, this, then we say, okay, now it's calculating current. But this is a voltage source, and who's supporting it? Who is it dependent on? It depends on current, right? Because it depends on I naught, right? So it's we say um, a current dependent uh, voltage source. Okay, so in this case, it would be five times I naught, which is two a, uh, but it's this whole thing, the units is voltage times the 3A and we plus um, v, uh, 3 times V0, right, 3 ampere times V0. Okay, and each individual uh, bracket within the bracket, that's like one element's power. Uh, you can just like, I guess, assign them of which one they are and then just um, give that to show your professor that you know this is for this this is for the powers for this resistor and then this equals zero so simplify combine and simplify in the end uh, v naught should uh, gives you 18 v and in the future you don't have really have to worry about this because this is kind of ridiculous to use this um, this whole equation what you should have done uh, if you read uh, chapter 2 already and then the uh, Kuk ah, I forgot his name. Um, Kuchefla, I, I forgot that gentleman's name, but uh, he there's a very simple way is that within a loop, within a loop, like so, here's another loop, and then on top of here is a, is another loop. Within a loop, the um, voltage source should always be zero so as you can tell from here this is 30v this is 12v 
and so what's what's 30 so and now we just follow the loop like count uh clockwise so we say okay hits negative so okay negative 30 hits the positive uh that's going to be 12 v and then hits the positive again uh from of the v naught side and this gives you zero so what is this v naught just equals 18 v right it's a lot simpler uh then you do all of this stuff and as you can tell from here this is 28 and 28 so it hits the positive size from the kind of like clockwise hits the positive okay there's a 25 28 v and then it hits the negative size of 20, uh, this resistor which is negative 28 as gives you zero right v not 18 right hits sorry so it hits negative 18 uh plus 28 and minus uh 18 wait uh 8 15 right three times 30 sorry my bad um that gives us 10 oh wait voltage source my bad this is power so three what's three uh three times i mean sorry five times two uh five times i not i not is two so that's 10 and again this gives, still gives you zero okay so here's an, another alternative method to solve this problem. But uh, right now, since this is chapter one, uh, if you know it, then you can use it. But still, f you know, it will only figure out the V now, but not the rest of the resistors, right? So if your professor assigns you this homework, still use this. And then you can uh, write this down just to show off and just say, hey, man, I already started ahead. And you know your TA might give you a little smile in the end, but um, so hopefully this was helpful. And uh, good luck on your studies, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.